Once a customer receives their onboarding email, they will see in their inbox an email that looks like this. Within the email, you will find a registration or sign up link, the customer's username, which is used on the online scheduler, and this name cannot be changed, as well as the username that they will need to log into the app. They will also receive their temporary password, which is this line here. This is used for the first time in the sign up or registration on the virtual scheduler online and will be asked to change. Scrolling through the email, there is the access code. This here can be forwarded to the partner's AV partner and they can use this on the app instead of the password and username for downloading all the content. So to get started, if we click on this link, it will take us to the sign up website. For most customers, it will be no for club count. It will then ask for their password and username, and we should copy and paste this from the onboarding email. Once we have copied and pasted those, push continue. And it will then bring up some questions. So we need to select the country. As I'm in the United Kingdom, I will scroll all the way down to the United Kingdom and select that. I'll confirm my language, which is English, and my time zone, which is Europe, London. I will confirm that. Then it will ask me to create a new password. So it wants the password to be at least eight characters long and must contain a lowercase, an uppercase, a number, and one of these symbols. So I will create my password and then I'll retype it and confirm it. And if I've done everything correctly, they will match. And it is now updating the system with this new password and confirming the time zone and country I am in. There we go. That is now all done. So this is what my schedule looks like. And you can see for this account, I have one studio set up. Now the registration process is done. The app can be logged in with the username and the new password you just created.